Hello everybody, welcome back to Huey's Tackle. Uh, tonight we're going to paint this full bait here. Uh, we're going to use some washes. Uh, I just started playing with some washes. So we're going to play with some here to see what we can do. We're going to try to make a shad pattern. I'm going to tape half this off because I want to leave the full half on the bottom. And I'm just going to paint the top half. I'm just going to use a white base coat. Set that. All right, for the first color, I'm gonna use some of this Velo Black Wash. I just got a flat tip brush. We're just gonna brush this on. First, I'm kind of just gonna dab it like this. Backwards. This is the most I've ever sweated to do in the entire time. So, I think if I sit at the front of the boat with all the leaf blowers, big sail in the back, we're going to move. So, I'm going to move. Kind of it like this. I'm going to see if any of these are small. I'm going to start to use all these boards. It's so hot out here that this ties are melting. This is what I got right here, man. I think they all unsubscribe. Yeah, all my fans typically leave after they realize I'm hiding my completely dry personality. And we're just kind of just going to dab it in after we stipple it. Like I just started using these. I've watched, uh, I think it's called Lure Blanks on YouTube do this a lot. Just never took the time to try it. Now I'm going to get a piece of a napkin and just kind of dab this wash. That fell off. That'd be a I'm gonna put just a little more black on. Come back and dab it like that again. Okay, now I'm gonna heat set that a little bit. All right, next color we're gonna use a wash by Velo again. Uh, it's gonna be a sepia. I just got a little piece of a sponge. I'm just going to dip it into that sponge and just dab it on. broke my camera stand so I just ordered a new one so hopefully it'll come in the next week or so so I can get y'all some better camera angles
that. Then we're going to come back with that same napkin. Just dab some of the excess off. I'm gonna dab it, but I'm not gonna dab it as hard. Right now, I'm gonna heat set that real quick. Alright, next color is gonna be a uh, violet wash. I'm gonna use a different sponge this time. Tear these ends off. There we go. We're just gonna dab this on in random spots as we've been doing. Napkin. I'll just dab that purple in. Yeah. I want it a little more purple. Now I'm going to heat set that. Alright, next I'm going to use uh, a blue wash on the same sponge I used the purple on. When you do this, you want to try to layer your colors dab that on whole bait using this and without using an airbrush. So that looks pretty good. And I'm going to heat set that real fast. Alright, next color is going to be a uh, yellow wash. going to use the same sponge. This is just going to brighten it up a little bit. Some of those dark colors that help blend everything. I'm just going to dab that over everything. Oh, 
All right, I've got some black magenta loaded in a gun. <clears throat> We're gonna go over the back. Just kind of darken up this back. opaque black loaded in. We're just gonna do a small line down the back. Go around where we put that on the eyes here, on the nose. Tape the little one I liked out. We'll throw that up here. Alright, we're gonna heat set that. Alright, so this is what it looks like after I take the tape off and I sprayed some uh, 4050 UVLS clear over it so I can clear coat it. I really like that fulling on the bottom. I did this so I could figure out the whole wash thing. I really like the way this wash looks. I'm just going to have to figure out on the next bait I do this how to blend the wash in with the bottom. So I think this one here will catch some fish for sure. Ooh. That's something different for sure. And I want to say thanks for the thousand subs if everybody stays tuned. I do have a uh, giveaway plan coming up so y'all stay tuned and look for that. Thanks for watching.